Hey, hey, what's up, Peace Tribe? What's going on, guys? Thank y'all for clicking on this video. Guys, I know, I know, I know it's been a while since I did a sit down Peace with Ambition video. So I am here with a new subject and we are gonna get into it today, guys. We're gonna be talking about accept less, expect less. Yes, people, if you accept it, what do you expect? jump into this topic today guys please make sure that you go ahead and comment anything down below on the topic or not i love reading you guys comments i love communicating with you guys just you know as a tribe coming together and if you're not already part of this tribe make sure you go ahead and subscribe to us or me peaceful ambition and go ahead and join the tribe guys let's get it right into it right now let's go all right, people, so before I do get into it, I want to let you guys know if you hear some thundering or raining or whatever, it's just because it is busting down right behind me. So I just wanted to tell you guys that beforehand in case you hear some noises. All right, so we're talking about accept less, expect less. So first, let's start off by saying accept less. What do I mean by accept less? And who am I accepting less by? Guys, everybody in your life. When I say accept less, I'm meaning you're accepting the way that people talk to you. You're accepting the actions that they take towards you. You're actually accepting anything that people bring to you. You don't question it. You basically just roll with the punches. Accept anything that anyone tells you. Guys, we can't do that. We have to learn how to set things or set standards for people. So we're not accepting less. We're accepting what we take from them, but it has to be what we expect. What do I mean by that? Let's just say you have a friend this is your girlfriend, this is your best friend, or whoever the case is. And you know, this friend is always saying mean, slick stuff about you. Girl, your hair look a little shabby, but you know, you cute though. Oh yeah, that shirt, mm -mm, it ain't working, but it's all right. You know, they always have to throw in that little hater move or that little slick thing to kind of make you feel bad, but then they try to boost you up. No, you're accepting someone to talk down on you. Or you know, someone just saying basically, um, I don't really like you and you're just like okay but I still want to be your friend no listen to people's words watch their action take what they do and take it to heart that's how I feel when people are doing things to you or saying things to you don't just think oh you know it's just them it's just the way they are no I don't care if that's the way they are when they talk to me they're gonna have to change their mouth I don't care if that's just the way that they move when they're around me they're gonna have to change their ways because I have standards for myself and if someone that I hang with or that I love can't see my standards or can't live by my standards, then why do I have them around me? Why are they so important to me when obviously I'm not that important to them? So guys, when I say accept less, that is accepting less. Accepting people to treat you and to talk to you or to just have step you when it comes to you. So we definitely have to know that you are important. I am important. So if someone wants to be near me, someone wants to be my friend, someone wants to be in my circle, then they're also gonna have to know how to talk to me and how to move around me because I'm just not going to accept less. But if you do decide to accept less, guys, then what, are we can, what can we expect? We have to expect less. We can't think that a person that we know that's truly not for us is really going to ride for us when we really need them. No, expect them to fold. Expect them to not be there for you because you're already teaching them how to treat you. You're already teaching them that whatever you give me, whatever you say to me, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to be happy with it. So when I really need you down the line and you're not there for me, I'm going to be happy with that because that's what I, that's how I know you. That's what I expect of you. Guys, we can't have that. Woo. We have to be able to stand up and say, look, I know that you may not be this person for me, but I need you now. And if we can't do that then, then like I said, guys, why do we have people around? When we do set that standard, when we do say, this is how I am, this is how I expect to be treated, then we should expect them to treat us that way. But if we just take anything from them, we take scraps off the table, then expect them to always give that to us. And expect them to think that we don't care about ourselves because we're letting them treat us anyway. Guys, a lot of times people treat us the way that we let them treat us. So if you're accepting any treatment, then expect any treatment from them. Okay, so people, I know that I'm mentioning other people, like I said, family, friends, or whoever, when we're coming to, when we're talking about accepting and expecting. But what about yourself? What if you expect yourself or accept yourself 
with any type of treatment? What if you treat yourself any type of way? You have that negative self-talk. You know, you don't dress yourself up. You don't try to treat yourself differently. What are you going to expect? You're going to expect yourself to have low self-esteem. You should expect yourself to not feel good about yourself when you're around other people because you're not accepting who you are. You're not accepting that I have to show myself love no matter who is around me, no matter what situation that I'm in. Even if I don't feel like it, I still have to accept who I am and show myself love. When you do that, guys, you build your own standards. You build your own morals. And in turn, when you treat yourself right, other people are going to treat you right. So it's not always looking out the window or looking at other people to see what they can give to you. Sometimes you have to look within yourself and see what you can give to yourself. Because like I said, we show people how to treat ourselves. So if we are accepting any type of behavior from ourselves, even just in life, you know, we're accepting ourselves to not go for those goals. We're accepting accepting ourselves just to be a couch potato and not try to do anything in life. Then what do we expect? We have to expect to live that couch potato life. We have to accept not being able to reach our goals and living the same old same. So guys, what we take from people or even take from ourselves is how we're gonna treat our life. Now, if we wanna change our life, if we wanna be better people, then what do we have to do? Accept that we have to do better. <laughs> accept it. And it's kind of a tongue twister, tongue twister, accept, expect. But I kind of like that it does sound the same because we know that it goes hand in hand. What we accept is what we should expect. If we accept a higher life and higher things in our life and we actually set goals and we actually set that bar for other people to climb up there and to say hey this is what i accept i'm not going to take anything from down here so if you can come up to my level and we can level off and we can be good then we're going to be good you know we're going to be friends we can we can hang we can buy we can do whatever but if I, my standards is here and you're just you know barely living I can't accept that. I can't accept that because I have things for myself that I won't even accept. So I'm not going to have someone come in my life and just throw anything into my pile. No, I'm sorting things out in my life. I'm making sure that I have things the way that I want it to be. And I don't have time for someone coming in my life, stirring everything up just because this is what you're saying. Huh, this is me. I like the gossip. I like to go partying every weekend. I like to do this. So I'm going to bring you with me and expect us to not go to work the next day. Expect us to get into the he say, she say. Expect those things because this is what you're accepting. You're expecting my friendship to be this way. So just expect us to get into those things. No, honey, boo boo. I like to go out, yes, but when I need to or when I really want to, not every weekend. I have things sorted out. I know my priorities. I know that my family is first, my children is first. I'm not gonna be talking about people because that's just not right. So I'm not gonna accept those things. I'm not gonna expect those things out of you because I know that you are even better than who you are. So what I will accept is for us to do things that can grow us, us to do things that can bring some meaning to our lives. And then when we do those things, what can we expect? We can expect us growing together. We can expect us reaching goals together. We can expect us being better people in general. So guys, sometimes you have to come down to people level and tell them, look, this is not what I'm, I'm not vibing with this. So maybe me and you, we can do this together. You know, a lot of times, like I say, you know, if they, people can't accept you for who you are or what path you're on, it doesn't matter. And that is so true. I'm still saying it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter what other people think or how they feel about your life and your opinions. However, there's always people in our lives that we love and we cherish and they may not be on the same level as us. So sometimes we have to bring them and say, hey, come on with me. This is the path that I'm on. Maybe you can come on this path with me. You know, it's easy to dump people to the side and keep on moving, but it's hard sometimes to bring people up with us. And if they are worthy to come up in life with us, then reach out to that person. Try to show them the life that you're going. Show them how to set expectations for themselves and other people, because maybe they don't know. So maybe you can be their savior. You never know. So it always, you know, is a good thing to try to reach out to people that love you and that are there for you. But if you know that this person is just no good, you know this person just don't care and they, they're they just kind of like, hey, this is how I am, accept it or leave it, then I think it's best that you leave it. <laughs> Seriously, guys, there's a lot of different people in this world that you're gonna bump into, some people you're gonna mesh with, some people you're gonna see that wants to learn and wants to grow. And some people are just gonna be like, this is me and I don't know what to tell you. And those people that are okay with just being them, let them stay there. Let them be them. And you continue to be yourself. And you continue to grow to be a better person. So, guys, 
as always, I try to keep my videos not too long because I want you guys to take in the message and to really hear what I'm saying and not for it to be drawn out. So, of course, I would just want to say I appreciate you all. Guys, if you're not already following me on Instagram and Facebook, um, also YouTube, go ahead and find me, Peaceful Ambition. Join the tribe, guys. Be part of the Peaceful Tribe today. So, make sure you subscribe and you follow me. Um, also, my husband, that's all critics. My daughter, Akira's View, and of course, our family channel, The Wise Family Five. So guys, I am Miss Peaceful Ambition. Please guys, look out for new things coming down the pipeline. We appreciate you all as always. And go ahead and check out Shata G. Shata G, look him up on YouTube and also Apple Music, his CD dropped today. Give it to the man upstairs. Bye y'all.